Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. I've got my hands on issues number 48, 49 and 50 of the Peter Rabbit Patchwork Quilt Part Works and I'm quite excited. As you may know, issue number 48 has been on back order and came in with these other two at the same time. So I think we're back on track to making our quilt weekly. As issues number 48, 49 and 50 are dedicated to Flopsy and Benjamin Bunny, I've already made the applique square, so I'm going to be unpacking them and seeing what other goodies are inside. Let's get to it! So inside the packaging, we've got oh, the dark brown, the light blue, the cream, pink, the beige, the little pieces, and we've got a piece of the cream spot. And no bonder web. And like I suspected, we've got template number one and template number two to make our applique. I'm going to stash away all of these fabrics in my fabric box. You never know how handy they can become. All of my scraps came in handy when I did make this applique square. So these perfect pieces will do the trick. I'm also going to separate the book and place it in my separate folders in their sections. Now to open up issue number 49. There seems to be some cottons in here and an extra piece of fabric but let's take a look. So we've got some extra threads for our embroidery. We've also got this fabric here. I'm not sure what it's for. I actually think that it may be for the name Peter Rabbit, which is to be appliqued at the base of our central applique square. But who knows, I will stash that away with the rest of my pieces. Also inside, there's the embroidery instructions and we've also got the central border template number two for the large applique in the middle of our quilt as well as some applique pieces it says you will receive the template for the candy blue applique pieces with issue number 50. And here we have issue 50 and we're back on track. With issue number 50 you'll receive another piece of this cream spot which I think is the fabric pieces which border around the completed quilt. I have four of these already from previous issues so I'm going to stash this away with them until instructed. Also, let's have a look what's in here. There's a section here called joining your squares and it shows you with all the different segments and sections to the quilt. It also runs through the pattern and the order of the placement of the squares. As well, issue number 50 comes with the central border template number three and as we mentioned before, all of the candy blue pieces, the central panel applique pieces, number three. These pieces here, I think this is actually Peter's jacket, and it says you will receive the template for the white applique pieces with issue number 53. We've still got three applique character squares and about five of the patches to make, so we're on the home stretch. 
I look forward to seeing you next time when we receive issue number 51 and we'll be making one of our first churn dash squares. I think there are two churn dash squares and we're going to be making our first. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes. And I'll see you next time. Bye.